Today we would like to derive the relationship that exists between sine, cos, and tan. This is Kisembo Academy and thanks for tuning in. Now to derive this relationship we shall consider this right angle triangle you're seeing right in front of your screen. This right angle triangle has got a hypotenuse AB. It has this side AC we shall label N and it has this side BC we shall label M. Now, let's try, we have an unknown angle here, theta. Let's try and find the sine and the, the cos and tan of that angle, theta. Remember, we shall use our acronym, so ka toa So ka toa meaning the sine of theta is equal to opposite of a hypotenuse. So we begin that the sine of this angle, theta, is going to be opposite opposite which is n over over the hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse now we do not know the hypotenuse yet let's try and first find this hypotenuse we try and find this hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem well, of course when we use the Pythagoras theorem here it means it's going to be m squared plus n squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared so m squared plus n squared is going to be equal to the hypotenuse squared which is a b squared when we make AB the subject of the formula, AB is simply going to become the square root of M squared plus N squared. So it means that this hypotenuse is the square root of M squared plus N squared. So it means that here this is going to be sine theta is going to be the opposite which is N over hypotenuse which is the square root of M squared plus N squared. That's sine. So the cosine of that same theta, sine theta, is simply going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent of theta is m over the hypotenuse, which is still that. m squared plus n squared. Then that is sine, that is cos, then tan. Tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of theta is going to be equal to the opposite which is n over adjacent which is m so now after stating all that now we are going to go ahead and since we are looking for the relationship that exists between these three so we are going to go and divide sine theta by cos theta we divide sine theta divided by cos theta and see where that takes us so sine theta Divide, uh, divide that by cosine of theta is going to be equal to our sine theta we got it as this so it's going to be n over the square root of m squared plus n squared divide that by cos theta cos theta is m over the square root of m squared plus n squared so, of course, where there is division of fractions, we find the reciprocal of this. So, it's going to become n, divide that by the square root of m squared plus n squared. Multiply that by the reciprocal of this, which is m squared plus n squared. Divide that by m. And, of course, by mathematics, what happens to that is, this will cancel with that you remain with your answer as n over m. But remember that n over m, as we had done earlier, n over m is tan theta. Tan theta is n over m. And when we divide sine theta, sine theta divided by cos theta, we end up with our expression as n over m, which is equivalent to tan theta. So it means that when we divide sine theta by cos theta, we end up with tan. Theta. So that's where the relationship comes from. It means that sine theta over cos divided by cos theta is equal to tan theta. Therefore, the relationship therefore is that sine of theta divide that by cosine of theta will give you tangent of theta. And that is how we derive that relationship. Please remember to share this video on other video sharing platforms and also subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching. And this is Arnold Rangakuramia for Kisembo Academy.